How to make a fresh yarrow tincture, plus 5 ways to use it. This past spring, I was excited to see a couple yarrow plants growing next to my driveway. I watched them as they grew, budded, and unfurled their creamy white flowers, and as soon as they were full grown, I put them to good use. Back in August, I decided to take some time to quickly tincture the yarrow tops before it was too late and the flowers dried up. Today, I thought that I'd share the steps with you in case you still have some fresh yarrow growing nearby that you'd like to preserve and use in the future. Disclaimer, yarrow is an herb that has several look-alikes, some of which are poisonous and even deadly, poison hemlock and water hemlock. Before harvesting and using what you think is yarrow, be sure you've positively identified it first. Before going into the video, discover the forgotten power of plants, the Home Remedies Handbook. You'll find 800 plus beneficial plants and remedies in the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. It includes recipes of tinctures, teas, decoctions, essential oils, syrups, salves, poultices, infusions, and many other natural remedies that all of our grandparents used for centuries. What's also special about this book is that it has between 2 and 4 high definition, color pictures for each plant, and detailed identification guidelines to make sure you've got the right plant. So make sure to check the first link in our description to get the book. Now let's get into today's video. How to make a fresh yarrow tincture. The directions below are for tincturing fresh yarrow using the folk method. You can certainly tincture dried yarrow if you want. Just follow the directions for that here. Clip the flowering tops of your yarrow plant, some stem and leaves are fine too, and lay these out on a white towel for an hour or two so any bugs can crawl off. Chop your wilted yarrow into small pieces using a sharp kitchen knife, and pack it into a glass jar, filling it up, one inch from the top of the jar. Cover the plant material with a 190 proof alcohol, Everclear, making sure you completely cover the plant material. Feel free to substitute this with filling your jar one quarter full of boiled water and three quarters full of glycerin if you want to make an alcohol-free tincture. Put a cap on and let this sit in a cool, dark place for six weeks, shaking daily if you can remember, before straining the plant material from the liquid. Compost the plant material, filter the liquid through a coffee filter, and bottle in a clean dropper bottle. Be sure to label your bottle with the name of your tincture, the date it finished, and what it's tinctured in, alcohol or glycerin. 5 Ways to Use Yarrow Tincture Yarrow is one of those plants that can be used in a lot of different ways. Below, I'm going to share 5 simple ways you can use this tincture if you decide to make, or buy, it. You can learn more about dosing herbs here. 1. As an herbal bitter. Yarrow has bitter properties and is stimulating to the gallbladder and other digestive organs. Not only will taking it before meals help prepare your body to digest your food properly, but if you have a tendency to have sluggish digestion, putting you at risk for gallstones, Regular use of yarrow tincture in a small amount of room temperature water before meals along with a high fiber diet can decrease the chance of gallstones forming. 2. To reduce a fever. Yarrow is a diaphoretic herb which means it stimulates the body's pores to open allowing heat to escape via sweating. The next time you have a high fever and you want to safely reduce it to a more comfortable level without taking it completely away, try taking a little yarrow tincture in some hot water every 30 minutes or so. 3. To strengthen the vascular system. Yarrow has a great overall effect on strengthening and toning the entire vascular system. Arteries, veins, and capillaries. If you bruise easily, have varicose veins, or get burst blood vessels in your eyes or hands often, regularly taking yarrow tincture can help to tone the walls of your blood vessels, giving them more support in the work they do. 4. To cleanse wounds. Yarrow is a well-known herb for wounds thanks to its antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, astringent, and analgesic actions. The next time you have a cut, scrape, bite, or puncture, dilute some yarrow tincture in some water and use it to wash the wound well before applying other herbal remedies that promote wound healing. 5. To aid in urinary tract infections. When it comes to herbs, did you know yarrow is one of several herbs that is specifically indicated for urinary tract infections? It is thanks to its antimicrobial and diuretic properties. When yarrow tincture is drunk in cool water, it acts as a diuretic, basically making you pee more. And, because of its antibacterial properties, it can decrease the chance of you getting a full-blown UTI as well as aid the body in healing itself if you already have one.